That's right. And who doesn't want to save a little money, right? Well, I get this. According to bank rate, most Texans spend about $1,800 a year on full car insurance. Well, thanks to COVID and the car coach, Lauren Fix, you can save some cash. Lauren, a lot of people are not driving as much as they used to be. They're not going to work every day and during that daily commute. So are there opportunities to save money on insurance? Oh, absolutely. There are some great ways to save money. The number one thing you just said, which is if you're home, call your insurance company. Say, you know, last year I drove 12 or 15,000 miles, but I'm doing less than 7,500 miles. If you don't ask, you don't get those discounts. They'll change your rating and you'll actually save money. And if you've been paying your bills on time and your credit rating is really good, a lot of people are saying, I've been, that's what I've been focusing on. If you have above a 720 credit score, there's a discount. And if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it. And there's always discounts, whether you're military, new driver, newly married, you know, a college graduate, maybe you're an all A student. All of that will give you better credit score, which gives you, believe it or not, that's part of your credit score. It doesn't sound like it should be, but it is. Your grades are. And that it reduces your insurance. And if you do your homework, you can save easily between $200 and $1,000 a year by just strategizing calling around comparison shop because believe me the market is very aggressive right now and everybody wants your business well what about if you're not driving at all you say you have three cars that you usually drive and circulate mm -hmm. throughout the family but since nobody's driving you just stick to one car do you suggest dropping insurance altogether on the other cars you're not driving i wouldn't drop insurance altogether i would drop collision and reduce your liability but always leave fire and theft on your vehicle because Anything can happen at any time, and if someone steals your vehicle or, God forbid, something happens and it catches fire, whatever it might be, something happens to it, you'll be covered because the worst thing is if you have no insurance, you can get fined by some state, so it's important to check with your state and their, and their requirements, but also note that you don't want to have a problem. So just a little bit of liability, and it will save you a ton of money. Well, I know if you have a house, you can get flood insurance on your house here in Houston. You know, we have a lot of rain, a lot of flood issues. Is it possible to get flood insurance on your car? You can get flood insurance on your car. What you're looking for is replacement value. Now, that could be expensive depending upon what you're driving. If you're parking a Corvette, it's going to be more expensive than if you're parking a Honda Civic. So it's really important to check with your insurance company. But if you can't park your vehicle in a spot where you know it won't flood, like in a parking garage or in an elevated area, or you won't be there potentially to move that vehicle, you definitely want to get flood damage insurance because it voids the warranty in your vehicle and you won't be able to sell it. Mm. Now, Lauren also suggests taking an online driver safety course to save money on your car insurance. Shannon Lanier, CW39 Houston, no wait weather and traffic. The team with more resources to cover Houston and all the surrounding communities every night on CW39. ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 p.m. on CW39.